Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Emily the Criminal. And this is a new thriller from writer-director John Patton Ford, and this is a big debut for this writer-director as we have Aubrey Plaza playing Emily, a woman who is trying to get over the fact that she served time for a credit card fraud, and she winds up getting pulled into a seedy LA underworld of crime because she can't get legitimate work and this film does a great job of having that subtext in terms of our society's outlook on people who have served time and you know prison's supposed to be about rehabilitation supposedly and then when they get out really isn't treated that way and this film is very poignant in the ways that they show that Aubrey Plaza gives an amazing performance in this film as she is really creating a resume for herself in terms of a lot of indie work and films like Black Bear and Inger Goes West. And here, from the start, where she's having a really uncomfortable meeting with a hiring manager who's playing games with her, you see frustration and sadness and just rage boiling up underneath. And there's a vulnerability here. You see Emily throughout this film growing into this role. Plaza has to display some physicality. She deals with violence and winds up traveling through this film and we see Emily becoming a stronger presence, confronting that power struggle between the dangerous men that run this underground to her trying to get the hell out of it. You have Theo Rossi, aka Shades, from... Um, Luke Cage, who plays a lot of these types of roles, and I think he does a fine job in this supporting uh, piece here. Now, the film has a lot of intensity, there's suspense, there's one particular scene so simple of like a security guard following Emily out of a store. You're wondering, what's going to happen? There's tension there. Ford's able to create that. But in the second act, there is some lag in narrative and some just slowing down of the energy propelling this forward but it comes back with a fiery finale with some evocative imagery and some really impressive moments that really show the progression that Emily goes through and the great performance that Plaza offers up in portraying this character and in the end I think this is a great step forward for a new writer-director. I think Plaza was a great choice for this film. She gives a really strong, vulnerable, yet strong and intense performance. And this film has plenty to say, and there's some really strong tension, and it works as a tight thriller that will definitely grab your attention. But those are my thoughts on Emily the Criminal. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.